All right, guys, this is just a quick message before the start of the video. I've got two things to say. First one, thank you for 2,000 subscribers. I'll be dying my head blue for the MK Dons away game, so that should be good. And um, this, well, this video is eventful. I was supposed to be going AFC Telford United, but a little bit of snow made the game get called off. So pretty much I did end up going to Hawkman v Brom's Growth Sporting, which was a good game. So yeah, join the video. Well, why are you, okay, I'm not going to beg for likes before the video starts. Just enjoy the video. Hey guys, what's going on? Alex here, and welcome back to another ground hopping video. Hey, we are off to AFC Telford United versus Neaton Town in the National League North. Basically needed to kind of do a cheap one today due to the fact that we've got Football League. We've got Villa v Birmingham coming up, Forest Green away, MK away, so had to do non-league today. But I'm here so early, it's 9.12 in the morning and we're off to Redditch United under 18s versus Droitwich Spa. New ground and, you know, why not? So, yeah, two grounds today. We've arrived at the Trico Stadium, home of Redditch United. It's freezing, it's raining, but I'm excited. Bloody hill to go down, man. Looks very good for the level. Full time at the Trico Stadium, it is Droitwich Spa under 18s 7, Redditch United under 18s 2, which is 9 goals, so that's my highest scoring ever football game. Um, so a good start to the day really. Um, we're now off to New Bucks Head for AFC Telford United versus Nuneaton Town of the National League North. So two grounds today, hopefully it's a good game. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I don't know, Redditch got, really got into it in the second half, but just couldn't get into it um, in in the first and that's when you've got most of the goals but yeah okay so things have got really bad um telford's game has just been killed off and the only literally just gone past telford's train station and if unless i get off or whatever i'm probably now gonna now have to go to shrewsbury so I'm not going to go to Shrewsbury Town because we've been there before. We're off to Hawkman versus Bromsgrove Sporting. What a, what a bloody downgrade, but I was really annoyed as well because I could have made the Kelv game if I was on the earlier train. But, you know, cheers to for Telford for, you know, calling it off an hour and a half beforehand. Brilliant, brilliant, guys. But, yeah, so I'm no longer going to Telford. I'm off to Hawkman in the Midlands League Premier Division. Brilliant. But, yeah, it should be good. It's basically kind of a repeat of the... What happened with um, Cadbury, just the fact that I missed the train that time. But yeah, after all of them now, it's a Bromsgrove Grove Sporting. Yeah, kind of excited, guys. This is Chelsea. Chelsea. I mean, it's a nice place, but I really just didn't want to be here today. Oh. I feel as if this is going to be a very negative one due to the fact that the Telford game got called off but fair play to Hawkman for actually having a game on a Hawkman I don't know but yeah no snow now can't see any snow brilliant but yeah half an hour from kickoff what is life came to automatic door apparently Not exactly where I wanted to be. Shoes with Sports Village. Got a program as well. It's alright for that level. It's like I'm standing here in the rain. Um, 
brilliant. But yeah, don't really know too much about Hallman. Bromsgrove I've seen twice now, so this is my third Bromsgrove game. I don't know, they're, they're really good in the league, just I've seen them win once 4-0 and lose once 3-1, so I don't know, prediction 2-0 to Bromsgrove, and that's just, yeah. Yeah, thoughts on the ground, it's, it's all right, you mean, it's, it's standard for this level, and there's nothing special about it, but the complex is big, and it's kind of, I don't know, really good, loads of 4G pitches and stuff as well. Why do I say 4G? It's 3G, I don't know what I'm talking about. But yeah, 15 minutes from kickoff. Excited, I should be excited. I got up at 7 in the morning and I've not come all this way for a 0-0. <laughs> Didn't even come for this. to Hawkland. That's what happens when Sanjay calls you halfway after a game. Ten minutes played and I think the great Carly scored. Look, bloody great Carly. If you don't know it's like him. Well that's the great Carly. Alright, I'm, I'm not gonna mention that for the rest of the game. So we've came into contact. The non-league. Great Carly. Look at number six. It's the bloody great Carly. He's got the ball. Brilliant pass by the great Carly. Now we're going still 1-0 to Hormond. Not been a brilliant first half an hour. I've just heard the Maxim Biamu has scored for Coventry. I've got no idea if it's true and if it is. I bloody gutted I'm not there. Nothing against this place, but I'm gutted I'm not at the Rico. And the great colleague has just missed the ball in the air. Go and watch my first vlog on the channel into Copswood. It's crap, like it's really crap. But that is like the new big Dave. He's just he's he's literally just the great he's just the great Carly. He's a professional wrestler, mate. I told you from the start. Now he's getting told off. <laughs> half time, Horman won, Bromsgrove supporting nil. Not been a pretty first half for either team. Um, Bromsgrove, I'd say, have been in it a little bit more, but yeah, both teams have been fairly poor. One Bromsgrove is sporting equalised in the first minute of the second half. Looks like they can finally get back into it. They did really well in the first half, but yeah. Wait, two minutes later, Holman scored 2 1. I don't know. Come on, Sporting! Wasn't the best of goals, to be fair. Oh, go on, hit it, hit it. 
itchy, 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 itchy. What the hell? Oh! Do not like this. Oh God, this kid will do it. Oh, oh I say that. Oh, 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 Hogman put it to bed 3 1. So, about 20 25 minutes left. Um, I don't know. Could Prom's go get back in the game? Maybe not. But yeah. I don't understand why Horgren have got a terrace, but they put these black things here up when the, when, when we're playing. Um, well, when we're playing, when they're playing, which is pretty weird. Why can't they just? I don't know. There's, I don't know what you. Tom's going to score three two. The comeback is on. Oh, I think oh, I'm going for a three three. I think Brom's going to score again. Yeah, anyway, back to conversation. Um, why can't they just find an alternative of being able to pay inside? That's, that's I, I think that's a better option. I don't know. What, what's my life came to? I'm talking about what a football team should do with their terrace. Like, what am I doing with my life? Jesus Christ. Where it should get from here, kind of like out of the ground, is like what you get in like Poland or somewhere where they're not keeping a cage. Come on! Five minutes left. Hogman 3, Bombs Grove Sport in 2. Full time. Um, where am I? Hogan. Hog for 3, Bombs Grove Sport in 2. I'll speak in a second. Alright, just left the Shrewsbury Sports Village. Um, thoughts on the game and the ground and everything, uh, real quick. Game was decent. Hogan did deserve to win in a way, but Bromsgrove were really good, as in coming forward. They've always had good support since, you know, they were last season they were in the Midlands League Division 1, which is the league below, and they've came into this league and completely dominated. But pretty much, I don't know, Bromsgrove just lacked a bit today, and yeah, Hogman fans were, well, fans, like a couple of them, like, well, Right, let's rephrase that. Hogman didn't have as many fans as Bromsgrove. All the Hogman fans were really happy with the win. Okay, there, there we go. Before I say something a bit like, oh, they've got bad fans. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, anyway. Um, the ground was nice. It's simple. Just a standard non-league football ground. Nice little clubhouse thing. There was like a climbing frame and everything in there. Um, but yeah, good to I never got to take off Telford to today. <sighs> but yeah kind of out of breath next week we're going to MK Don's away god I forgot where I was going then but yeah if you've enjoyed this video leave a like subscribe to the channel if you're new thank you for 2,000 subscribers next week we're gonna have blue bloody air but yeah thanks for watching and it's freezing it is always freezing on this channel isn't it if you could feel how cold I was right now it'd just be that literally it's hard to hold the camera still but thanks for watching, I'll see you guys next week.